<laughs> In the remote town of Eldridge, nestled at the edge of an ancient forest, a mysterious darkness began to stir. Strange occurrences whispered through the community, and ominous shadows danced beneath the moonlit canopy. As the townsfolk spoke in hushed tones of an unknown abyss, a group of curious friends decided to venture into the heart of the forest, unaware of the monstrous entity that awaited them. The friends, armed with flashlights and a sense of trepidation, ventured into the dense thicket of the whispering pines. The air thickened with an unnatural stillness, and the haunting melody of unseen creatures filled the night. As they pressed deeper, an ominous resonance resonated through the trees, setting an eerie backdrop to their journey into the unknown abyss. A guttural growl reverberated through the forest, causing the friends to freeze in their tracks. The moon cast elongated shadows that seemed to writhe with a life of their own. The unearthly growl intensified, and a monstrous silhouette emerged from the shadows. Eyes gleamed with a malevolence that transcended the natural world, and the friends realized they were not alone in the heart of the Whispering Pines. The monstrous entity, a creature born from the ancient depths of the forest, unleashed its primal fury. The friends, now caught in a nightmarish tableau, watched as the beast's massive claws tore through the underbrush. The haunting melody of the forest shifted into a dissonant symphony, marking the onset of a battle between humanity and an entity that defied the laws of nature. A dance of shadows unfolded as the friends fought desperately to survive the onslaught of the monstrous entity. Its form flickered between the corporeal and the ethereal, making it an elusive adversary. The haunting melody, now a cacophony of terror, underscored the nightmarish struggle as the friends grappled with the realization that the creature they faced was not merely a product of the natural world. In a desperate bid for survival, the friends sought the guidance of an enigmatic figure rumored to hold an eldritch pact with the ancient forest. The mysterious guardian, shrouded in shadows, revealed the haunting melody's connection to the monstrous entity. To defeat the creature, the friends would need to unravel the arcane secrets that bound it to the heart of the Whispering Pines. Guided by the Eldritch Pact, the friends embarked on a perilous journey to perform the ritual of unbinding. The forest seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy as they chanted incantations and drew mystic symbols in the loamy soil. The haunting melody, now a haunting plea, echoed through the trees, calling upon forces unseen to break the ethereal shackles that bound the monstrous entity. As the friends completed the ritual of unbinding, the forest quivered with an ethereal resonance. The haunting melody transformed into a melancholic requiem, and the monstrous entity convulsed with an otherworldly agony. A portal to an ethereal abyss opened beneath its colossal form, threatening to consume the creature in a vortex of spectral energies. With a final, haunting wail. The monstrous entity vanished into the ethereal abyss. The haunting melody, now a fading echo, marked its departure from the mortal realm. The friends, battered and exhausted, stood at the edge of the whispering pines, witnessing the forest return to an eerie calm. The unknown abyss, though momentarily sealed, left behind lingering shadows and a spectral legacy that would forever haunt their memories. In the aftermath of the ethereal abyss's closure, Eldridge struggled to shake off the residual unease that permeated the town. The friends, haunted by the memories of the monstrous entity, found themselves drawn back to the whispering pines. A lingering sense of unrest hung in the air, prompting them to investigate the remnants of the unknown abyss that once threatened their existence. The friends, armed with newfound knowledge from the Eldritch Pact Guardian, followed spectral footprints that appeared in the wake of the monstrous entity's departure. The haunting melody, now a spectral compass, guided them deeper into the heart of the Whispering Pines. Unbeknownst to them, the ethereal abyss had left behind echoes of its existence, creating a trail of spectral energy that hinted at a residual connection to the unknown. As the friends delved deeper into the Whispering Pines, they stumbled upon an ethereal convergence, a nexus of spectral energies that pulsed with an otherworldly resonance. The haunting melody, now a gentle hum, guided them to the epicenter, 
where the remnants of the monstrous entity's essence lingered. The friends realized that the ethereal abyss had not fully closed, and its spectral echoes threatened to breach the veil between worlds once more. In a revelation that sent shivers down their spines, the friends discovered that the haunting melody was the unfinished symphony of the monstrous entity. Its essence, though banished from the mortal realm, sought a way to complete its ethereal composition. The friends, now faced with the daunting task of preventing a spectral resurgence, grappled with the realization that the unknown abyss was not vanquished but merely dormant. To thwart the spectral resurgence, the friends engaged in a soulful resonance with the haunting melody. They immersed themselves in the ethereal convergence, channeling their own energies to counteract the lingering echoes of the monstrous entity. The haunting melody, now a harmonious blend of mortal and ethereal notes, wove a protective barrier to fortify the weakened veil between realms. As the friends completed the soulful resonance, a haunting requiem echoed through the whispering pines. The remnants of the monstrous entity's essence, caught in the ethereal symphony, dissipated into the cosmic currents. The haunting melody, now a serene melody of closure, marked the conclusion of the spectral convergence. The unknown abyss, though forever etched in the fabric of Eldridge, retreated into the shadows of memory. Eldridge, though free from the immediate grasp of the monstrous entity, became a town ensnared in the shadow's whispers. Residents spoke of spectral apparitions and eerie occurrences that defied explanation. The haunting melody, now a subtle undercurrent in the town's ambient noise, became a harbinger of the lingering spectral energies. The friends, burdened by their ethereal legacy, felt compelled to unravel the secrets that bound Eldridge to the supernatural. In an attempt to unravel the mysteries plaguing Eldridge, the friends gathered for a seance of revelation. The haunting melody, now an ethereal guide, led them to a dilapidated mansion at the outskirts of town. Within its decrepit walls, they uncovered a forgotten history, a tale of a forbidden pact with the whispering pines that had tethered Eldridge to the unknown abyss for centuries. The haunting melody, resonating with the mansion's spectral echoes, unfolded the tragic narrative of souls bound by a curse that transcended generations. The friends, now burdened with the weight of Eldridge's haunted past, realized that the monstrous entity was not an isolated incident, but a symptom of a deeper, more malevolent force. The haunting melody, once a guide, now seemed to echo a warning. They embarked on a quest to lift the veil of deception that shrouded Eldridge, determined to confront the malevolent force that lurked within the town's darkest corners. Returning to the Whispering Pines, the friends revisited the ethereal nexus where the monstrous entity had been banished. The haunting melody, now a mournful lament, resonated with the town's tortured history. As they delved into the ethereal convergence, they discovered that the malevolent force feeding on Eldridge's spectral energy was a manifestation of the town's unresolved sins, a cosmic reckoning that demanded redemption. To achieve atonement, the friends engaged in an ethereal ritual that required them to confront the lingering shadows of Eldridge's past. The haunting melody, now a requiem for lost souls, guided them through a surreal landscape where echoes of historical transgressions played out like ghostly apparitions. Each friend faced spectral manifestations of Eldridge's darkest moments, seeking redemption for sins not their own. As the friends confronted the specters of Eldridge's past, the haunting melody transformed into a cosmic redemption. The malevolent force, now stripped of its ethereal energy, dissipated into the cosmic currents. The haunting melody played a triumphant refrain, signaling the town's release from the shackles of its haunted history. Eldridge, bathed in the ethereal glow of redemption, stood on the precipice of a new beginning. Eldridge, basking in the ephemeral serenity that followed the cosmic redemption, underwent a transformative revival. The haunting melody, now a gentle serenade, echoed through the town's rejuvenated streets. The friends, having unraveled the ethereal mysteries that plagued Eldridge, sought a semblance of normalcy amidst the lingering echoes of their spectral journey. As Eldridge settled into its newfound serenity, relics of the town's cursed past resurfaced. The haunting melody, though subdued, hinted at the existence of forgotten artifacts tied to the malevolent force. 
The friends, driven by an unyielding curiosity, embarked on a quest to uncover these cursed relics, determined to purge the remnants of Eldridge's haunted legacy. The friends, guided by the haunting melody, discovered cryptic engravings hidden within Eldridge's oldest structures. These engravings, a testament to the town's sinister history, revealed the malevolent force's origins. The haunting melody, now a melancholic ballad, compelled the friends to decipher the arcane symbols and prevent a resurgence of the ethereal malevolence that had plagued Eldridge for centuries. The haunting melody, once a guide, now intensified into a relentless resonance, signaling the friends that the malevolent force sought to reclaim its foothold in Eldridge. The cursed relics, each resonating with the haunting melody's ominous notes, hinted at an impending ethereal storm. The friends, faced with a race against time, endeavored to neutralize the relics before the malevolent force could regain its spectral strength. To neutralize the cursed relics, the friends orchestrated an ethereal crucible, a ritual that harnessed the haunting melody's latent power. As they chanted incantations and wielded mystic symbols, the haunting melody played a symphony of resistance against the malevolent force. The friends, now seasoned in the arcane arts, faced the crucible's ethereal tempest, determined to sever the malevolent force's last tethers to Beldridge. The malevolent force, sensing the friends' interference, unleashed an eclipsed confrontation. Shadows coalesced into spectral apparitions, and the haunting melody intensified into a discordant battle hymn. The friends, standing at the epicenter of the ethereal storm, confronted the malevolent force in a final showdown. The haunting melody, now a crescendo of defiance, resonated through Eldridge's spectral battleground. In a climactic clash between the friends and the malevolent force, the haunting melody reached its zenith. The spectral battleground quivered with the echoes of cosmic forces in turmoil. As the friends maintained their ethereal crucible, the haunting melody played a triumphant requiem. The malevolent force, unable to withstand the spectral onslaught, dissipated into the cosmic currents, leaving behind a town forever liberated from its ethereal shackles.